Hello there, welcome to the June 2019 applied paper. Here we're looking at question five. Past records show that 15% of customers at a shop buy chocolate. The shopkeeper believes that moving the chocolate closer to the till will increase the proportion of customers buying chocolate. After moving the chocolate closer to the till, a random sample of 30 customers is taken and eight of them are found to have bought chocolate. Julie carries out a hypothesis test at the 5% significance level to test the shopkeeper's belief. Julie's hypothesis test is below. Identify the first two errors that Julie has made in her hypothesis test. So the first, um, the first mistake is going to be on line 2. It's not that the probability is greater than or equal to 0 0.15. It should be greater than 0 0.15 just greater than, but this won't affect the result of the hypothesis test. So for part B, this won't affect the result, won't affect result. What you might want to put down in your answers is on line two, this should be the answer and it won't affect the result. So just refer to this as line two. And then there must be another mistake because it says two errors. Now it's definitely on this bit here because if Julie's um, thinking that the amount of customers will increase, then what she should be using here is the probability of eight or more customers um, picking up a bar of chocolate. Because if she thinks that the hypothesis uh, of moving the chocolate closer to the hill has worked, then if she sees nine people, or so eight people, or nine people, or ten people, or eleven people, then she'll also think that her hypothesis has worked. So this will affect the result. The reason we do it greater than or equal to is because each probability might be so small that it's no use testing individual probabilities. We need to test a group of probabilities where that end of the probability scale is less than or equal to, so less than 5% will affect results. Okay, so there we are. That's the answer for part A and part B all in one go. Let's now move on to the next part. So we've roughly got the same blurb at the start. Um, find using a 5% significance level, level of significance, the critical region for a one-tail test of the shopkeeper's belief. The probability of the tail should be less than 0.05. Yes, that's how standard hypothesis tests work. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is just label the key detail for this hypothesis test. It's going to be a sample of 30 with a probability of 0 0.15. The null hypothesis is for the probability to remain at 0 0.15 and the alternate hypothesis is to go above 0 0.15. Now what we're going to do here is most of this work is going to be on the calculator. So go to your calculator, go to mode 7. Now what we're looking for here is for the probability of x being greater than or equal to some value to be less than 0.05. So let's work out what this a value is, the first value at which the probability is less than 0.05. So go to the binomial CD mode, uh, go to list now. In, in the critical region of the hypothesis test, it's list that's a very helpful mode. Usually we just go to variable, but list is quite helpful here. What this will tell us is the probability um, of um, that many shop customers or fewer picking up a bar of chocolate from the till. So I'm going to type in about 7, 8, 9, 10, um, so around a, a point at which I think, yeah, if this many customers come in and buy a chocolate bar or more, then I will rethink my probability of 15%. So maybe what you might want to do is work out what 15% of 30 is and then just do a bunch more numbers up from that point. So type in your critical value. So what you do, after you've entered those uh, data values into your table, um, press equals and then it will take you to this screen, press 30 and then 0.15, and then you get this set of results here. Now, apologies if this is too small to see on your screen, maybe do it on your calculator so you can see it more clearly. But what this clearly says is at the point of x being less than or equal to eight, the probability of that is 0.9722. So what that now refers to is that the probability of x being more than or equal to 9 
is going to be 1 minus this value. And so what I'll do is I'll put my cursor over the 0 0.9722 value and store that as A. Go back to the main mode on my calculator and that's going to give me 0 0.0278 to three significant figures. So therefore, what we say here is that the first probability where this will be less than 0 0.05, if I go back to my calculator screen, if I were to choose 7, then that would give me 0 0.9302, which is about 0 0.0698, which is more than 5%. Um, so I've chosen the first value that will have a value less than um, 0 0.05. Um, but then remember... In fact, let's just concentrate on this bit here. Remember that when you put this into your calculator, you're actually working out the probability of eight, um, eight people coming to the counter or fewer. The probability of that is going to be 0 0.9722. So therefore, if we do the flipped reverse of that, and now that's nine people or more coming to the till, is only 2.78%. So therefore, the critical region for the hypothesis test to assume that the probability will increase is for um, x to be greater than or equal to nine. So nine is the answer to that question. Um, where it's that amount of people or more has a smaller than a 0 0.05 probability. The answer to part D states the actual critical significance of this test. That's just the answer to um, this answer here. It's going to be 2.78%. Okay, so what that's referring to is if we see nine or more people coming to the till with a chocolate bar in their hand after they moved it to the front near the till, then there's only a 2.78% chance that that has happened when the probability is still remained at 0 0.15. It's more likely, it's a 97% probably likelihood that the probability of them picking up a chocolate bar has increased if we see nine or more people coming to the till with a chocolate bar in hand. So there we are, that's the answer for this question here, worth uh, only six marks for this question here, I thought it'd be a few more. Uh, so yeah, six marks, let's now move on to question six.